What up, everybody? It's your boy Old Man Sam here, back with some more fire reaction content. This time is to a Sunny V2 video. Sunny V2, if you're not following him on YouTube, go ahead and give him a subscribe. I'll leave a link to the video below. Um, amazing content creator. I love watching his videos. He put this out about a month or so ago. Um, but in case y'all didn't know, I am Old Man Sam. I stream on Twitch five days a week. Um, if you would like to follow, the link will pop up somewhere here below, or it's also in the bio as well. Um, also, if you like this kind of content, make sure you hit subscribe, like, leave a comment below. Tell me what you want me to comment on next. Tell me if you want to see more React content or you don't want to see more of this kind of stuff. I'm trying to diversify a little bit, but on to the video. This one is about idiot streamers caught in 4K. All right, let's get into it real quick. From using aimbot during a live CSGO tournament to completing Super Mario 64 with a see-through blindfold, these are the dumbest streamers who are caught in 4K cheating, beginning with Elm Zero, who accidentally left his some aimbot of on whilst trying out for a professional esports team. Up until this point, Elm Zero- You're trying out for a professional esports team and you leave your aimbot on. I mean, cheaters are everywhere, man. People want to get partner, they want to get- something in a game they'll they'll do whatever to cheat and even in i guess i don't know what group he was trying to join but let's see had built up a respectable 3,000 Twitch followers for his That's impressive really good, apex actually. legends gameplay however while trialing for the pro team zenith judge apex is really difficult i suck ass at it just noticed that his aim was almost too impressive And while this first kill was arguably still possible without aimbot, his next kill was significantly more suspicious. I've seen people do some crazy kills. Elm Zero shoots through the wall as if he already knew where the enemy was before Yo, walking onto the player with near power. That's crazy. He was literally like the dude said, shooting at the wall. Like he knew he was there. Perfect accuracy. Elm Zero was instantly called out in a Twitter post reading, How are people streaming cheats in Scrims Lameo? Which received a response explaining that he was known for cheating on PUBG in the past. One of my accounts. He was known for cheating in PUBG, yet he was still able to try out for an esports team. Money rules the world, man. I was banned from PUBG. I was banned by the PUBG Corp for, I mean, my ban message said hacking. Determined to expose Elm Zero for good, another said clip was tweeted of him warming hacking. up for the match, in which his aim was once again robotically accurate, and with the evidence seeming conclusive, Zenith Esports would make a tweet explaining that Elm Zero was not contracted with us and has been good. I don't know who Zenith is, but that's good removed from our trial process, which was followed by Elm Zero deleting all of his social media before disappearing from the internet. Now that sucks. But I mean, some people do whatever they gotta do to get ahead, so I mean, but that sucks that you, you lose your, is it worth losing everything being caught you're getting cheated? I don't, I don't think so. I'd rather suck a video game than get caught cheating. Semper 0311 was even stupider, as after going live playing the game Destiny 2, he'd forget to hide the aimbot program altogether. Holy At the time, shit. he was streaming to a small audience of only six like, it's easy to forget things all the time. Like, I forget to turn some more or something off. That's another reason I'd be bad at cheating, because I, I forget to turn my mic on. I'm a fucking gonna forget to turn my aimbot off. Stayed people. However, this was enough for one of his viewers to notice the fishy gameplay. Hey, 16 is still a lot. 16 is like in the top, like, 1% of Twitch. So. Writing in the chat is that aimbot. On your screen, it has, like, red squares around them. Semple was dumb enough to read the comments out loud. My screen has red squares around. And after pretending to be confused for a couple of seconds, the stream ended abruptly and the footage was- <laughs> He just cut it off, he's like, fuck this shit. ...was deleted. In the days that followed, Semper denied cheating and threatened to ban anyone bringing it How up. How can you deny? No, it's not. No, it's not. And I didn't, dude. If you want to get banned, you can keep saying that. Yet after being pressured by the audience, Semper admitted to cheating in the weakest way possible. There was wall hacks on my computer yesterday on stream. Like, I'm not denying that. I just don't know how they got there. However... So first he was going to ban people, and then he said he got wall hacks on his stream and don't know how. Like. I've seen this excuse a few times with different people. They're like, hacks got on my computer. I don't know how. And there's that one famous girl, I forget what her name is. And she was like, my friend did it. She was over here and she put hacks on me. She promised she didn't. And she like caught or whatever. And I don't really think the person was like, come on, man. Like you cheated. You know what I mean? People were coming in for elite gameplay and destiny as well. Why are you cheating in destiny, man? Like, wow. 
But Elise Semper eventually admitted to some kind of wrongdoing as the next person blamed her cheating oh, on a non-existent person. This is her. The streamer in question went by the name of Miss Q Gemini and just prior to being- Yo, I remember this. I remember this so bad because it was on like live stream fails or something on, on uh, uh, Reddit. Exposed, she'd state that people often called her a cheater simply because she was female. You know what's really sad? That sometimes, you know, because I'm female in Counter Strike, people are like, you're cheating. However, the real- now, I can understand that because, like, there is this really big, huge male complex where girls can't be better than me, but it also sucks sometimes because I know, like, the, the chick Nadia who plays Warzone, she gets uh, accused of cheating all the time. And some of her vids are questionable, but she's like, it's because I'm a girl and y'all can't stand that I'm, man, man, I get it, but come on, man. It's, it's a lame defense, in my opinion. Real reason behind why she was called a cheater revealed itself just minutes later as she'd begin her first CSGO game of the stream with wall hacks enabled. Ah, what? They're mid. Mid. To be. Yo, yeah, well, I think she like blames like, oh, do you all get this glitch? Cheater. CSGO's hard too, bro. I remember watching a uh, CSGO tournament and right in the middle of the tournament, like the entire team got like fucking banned. After dying in the game, she'd come to notice her colossal size mistake and attempted to play the whole thing off by stating that she had some weird glitch. Do you guys ever get that uh, that weird glitch in CSGO where it shows your rank, that it shows everyone's rank? I played the other day with Rock and he got that and now I have it. I, I don't know what's why. It's weird. Which was then followed by Miss Q Gemini on, stating that someone named Clara had been playing on Clara. a computer earlier that day. <gasps> Wait, Clara, hold on. Clara, give me one second. Clara, let me just message this girl. Give me one second. Why is this on my computer right now? Where is this? How do I close this? I need to text my friend Clara right now. She was at my house earlier today. Clara is it real. Clara. She promised me she didn't use it on my PC. Clara, out of all people, this is what happens when you let Clara. people use your PC. Realizing that there was no getting out of this, Miss Q Gemini began to trade all of her items to a brand new account. Yet, unfortunately, this- Yo, so she tried to dump all of her shit over. To where, wow, I didn't know that part. I didn't know that she was trying to switch it all over to do another thing, account so she didn't get banned. Or if she did get banned, she could keep it all. This wouldn't stop a Twitch ban, which happened later that day. Damn, she yeah. And while it's certainly shameless to blame was a she friend lying? for the hacks on your computer, it's not nearly as shameless Clear. as aimbotting during a professional CSGO tournament, which is what would happen in the- Oh, okay, that, so yeah, that, that, okay, that's why that dude was familiar in this picture. This is our, I don't know if this is where the whole team is, uh, band or just him? Case of Optic Forsaken. Forsaken had joined the Indian Optic Group in May 2018. I don't think this is the and in the five games played after joining, Forsaken had always placed either second or first. While many assumed that Forsaken was nothing more than a very talented player, it would be after flying to a $100,000 prized professional tournament in Shanghai, How China, that Optic Forsaken was exposed brutally. The tournament began with Forsaken taking large breaks in the warm up rounds, as if he was trying to set something up on his computer in the background, yet it would only be after the main matches began, the Forsaken's plays became incredibly suspicious. How do you add it on a computer that they this use? This first strange flick into the ground was followed by countless examples of him locking perfectly onto the enemy. Yo, that's I've seen some I've seen some crazy flicks, but that's 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 nuts. That's 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 nuts. How can you justify that? How can you justify that? While there was a chance that some of these kills could still be made by a high level player, it will be with one final matchup that Forsaken's aimbot became obvious. After locking onto the enemy through a wall, event yeah, organizers called crazy. a timeout, and officials made their way over to Forsaken's computer to figure out if he was cheating. At first, Forsaken refused access to his computer, however, the officials would ignore this and how can you be so dumb to be at a tournament and load in hacks? And how are they not watching your computers? How are they not like something in there like to show like, hey, to allow you to keep from loading stuff on a computer that they provide? That's a fail in the tournament people too. Because I remember, like I said, the Nadia chick who was getting um, accused for cheating a lot. She went to a, I think it was a Modern Warfare 2 tournament or whatever. 
And she just did really bad. That's where a lot of people said that she was cheating because she went there and she never hacks or whatever they say she uses. But um, that's crazy. That takes some big fucking balls to like go to a sponsored tournament and to load some on the computer. And I, I hope nowadays that they have some way to prevent you from loading anything. I know I can't load anything on my computer at work. They should be able to do that on these. Look anyway, during which Forsaken kept pushing them away from his computer while he tried to delete the aimbot right in front of their faces. Despite having traveled all the way from Deleting India, right in Forsaken and the whole optic team were instantly disqualified from the oh, tournament, this might have been the which one became then. even worse when Forsaken issued a public statement explaining that neither his team, manager, or coach had even the faintest idea that he was hacking. The scandal eventually resulted in Optic India shutting down altogether, but Forsaken isn't the only person in this video to cheat. That's really sad, bro. Like not only did he fuck himself, but he fucked his entire team, bro. Now that team's not even around. Hopefully those people got picked up by somebody if they really didn't know he was cheating, you know? in a professional tournament because during a professional Fortnite tournament with a $500,000 prize, the following scenario happened to a play- $500,000, man. They wonder why people fucking be playing Fortnite like this shit. Holy, I might cheat for $500,000. Not really, but I'm just saying, damn. Player by the name of Marky Locurus. Yo, he's invincible. Despite being down and finished countless times by his opponent, a glitch prevented Marky from being eliminated. Whilst being revived, Marky told his teammate to keep quiet about what had happened, which was followed by the- That's fucking shitty. How do they not just, like, there's somebody standing right by him. How do they not, like, like, look, dude, you're not dying, bro. Too unfairly killing the player who had downed Marky originally. <laughs> After continuing there's to play a referee normally, right behind Marky him. was approached by event organizers. There was a dude right behind him the entire time. Who asked him to leave the match, yet he'd refused, stating that what had happened was a glitch and was part of the game. While he would eventually give up and leave, this prompted discussion online about whether Marky had cheated or not. I don't think he is cheating, I think he just went with it. All these kids saying he wasn't cheating, he knew he wasn't taking damage and got revived, and continued the game even though he should have died. That's considered an exploit and is cheating. Fun fact, the first clip was actually a glitch, but he decided to abuse it. There was certainly an argument for whether or not Marky's behavior constituted cheating however the same couldn't be said so if it was a glitch which i guess it could be i don't know i don't play fortnite games are glitchy and you know something happens you should just stop playing right there and let the round be over you obviously would have been dead like you wouldn't have gotten back up you wouldn't have gotten revived you should have been dead multiple times don't take it to your advantage like if something like that happens glitches do happen in games if it really was a glitch then just submit the round like you're over and like get it for five hundred thousand dollars. But cheating's bad sportsmanship. But that's just bad sportsmanship, man. That would piss me off more than somebody cheating, honestly. Because like I don't know, like the game breaks and then you're fucking taking advantage of it to win. That's that's lame. Dead for Captain Baldy, who accidentally showed his aimbot while Captain Baldy. He had a full head of hair. How's this Captain Baldy? Whatever trying to prove that he wasn't cheating. Up until this point, Captain Baldy had built up a Warzone kill death ratio of over two, yet similar to the Apex Legends play in the beginning, Captain Baldy will be caught out on Hold on. Up until this point- A two? Like, a two? Was he doing it to like, we'll see like how he was cheating, but like, so you're using cheats and you can only get a two? Maybe it's to make like people not know. And I know it says top 2.1%, but a two and you're using aimbot? Man, you just, I mean, I would just think that you're not good if aimbot doesn't even work for you like that. But I guess, I don't know. Let's see. Captain Baldy had built up a Warzone kill death ratio of over two, yet similar to the Apex two. Legends play in the beginning, Captain Baldy will be caught out on Twitter after locking onto an enemy who was running behind a wall. Another clip then surfaced where Captain Baldy displayed suspiciously oh, no. accurate shooting. Oh, I keep getting 
shooting. Another beginning. Captain Baldy will be caught out on Twitter for locking onto an enemy who is running behind a wall. He just shot a dude right there that was locked onto him, hitting him when he's trying to shoot at this car. I know some people will be like, oh, it's, uh, you know, aim assist. Fuck that. Another clip then surfaced where Captain Baldy displayed suspiciously accurate shooting. Oh, I keep getting fucking shot, bro. I down one, no, I just down. And as a result, his chat began to fill with people calling him a cheater. Determined to prove his innocence, Captain Baldy agreed to show his task manager, yet. Like, you're getting that many kills right there in a row. Did you just like start cheating new? Cause that's like four or five kills right there. Like if you're constantly doing that, you should be above a two. Hilariously he seemed to instead tap the key, which brought up his cheat menu. Task manager? Yo, they want my task manager? Hold up. Control delete. No, control delete task manager. Ah, caught in 4K. Aimbot, aimbot mode, smooth aim, aim bone, silent aim, auto fire. They got it to where it automatically fires for you. It aims at enemies. You can, I mean, you want to aim at friendlies, but yo. He got caught in four fucking K, bro. Saying task manager and brought his up, up his fucking cheats. That's crazy. Oh my God. The chat then mocked Captain Baldy relentlessly, said, oh which was followed by a live Warzone ban later in the stream. Disconnected from COD. No way. No way. <laughs> with the Captain Baldy saga ending with the deletion of his entire Twitch channel. Damn, he Getting got banned and then he, and then he fucking just ended it. He just, he just deleted his Switch. That's crazy. Wasn't even worth it, bro. Wasn't even worth it. So one thing I got to say is, yeah, people want to be pro gamers and all stuff. The stream? You ain't gotta be the best, bro. You just gotta be entertaining. While checking the task manager was a trend continued by Call of Duty streamer Young, although he didn't take his expose as humbly as Captain Baldy did. Young's viewers noticed that he always seemed to know where the enemy was coming from, so just like our last cheater, the audience requested that he show his task manager. Now, Young wasn't dumb enough to bring up the entire cheat menu, however, after accessing the task manager, his stream display bugged out and showed a second window where his hacks could be seen clearly. After being banned from Call of Duty, Young would take Yo. Oh shit. So it's like basically what happens like if I do this. You know what I'm saying? Like I can pull this down, you can see the other part. So he had it on another screen and it popped. That's that's fucked. That's fucked. That's a fucked way to get caught, bro. Clearly, after being banned from Call of Duty, Young would take to his Twitter on which he'd make an idiotically got, arrogant tweet. He got the ban hammer immediately on Call of Duty. That's the one thing, at least COD is, is was banning the cheaters. Tweet reading, got mad free press tonight. Over 2k views overall. Some people even posted my gameplay online. Thanks for the shout outs, people. Really appreciate the help. One like. <laughs> One like. I'm, I'm lucky if I get a like on Twitter, so it's not about the like, but. Got mad free press over 2 You got over 2k views and one person liked it. You're bragging about getting caught. Cheating. That's why you got the views, bro. Because you were cheating. Not because people want to see you. Although these 2,000 views worth of free press didn't contribute to the long-term growth of his career, free as Young press. hasn't gone live on Twitch ever since. However, Young still looks free press to no longer stream. Like a genius in comparison to Twisted Bear, whose Twitch description boldly claimed that he was at the top modern warfare player. A partner on Twitch, because that's what that little check mark means, a partner on Twitch, Twisted Bear, the top modern warfare player. Player. The reason no for this claim would become apparently. apparent in July of 2020, when he'd go live displaying his- Dude. Do you not look on your second monitor? Like, I mean, I know a lot of people don't have second monitors or third monitors when streaming, but like right now, I'm, I constantly look over at my Twitch or my OBS or whatever, I always have a screen with OBS on it. And I have my stream up so I can see what my stream sees. Like, you're not going to sit there and see that. That. That's crazy.
his skills, only he completely forgot that he had his wall hacks on. The end to Twisted Bear's career was then unbelievably quick. He was banned from Call of Duty, then Twitch, and was never heard from ever Damn, again. Damn, he had the double But this is what hammer. separates Twisted Bear from the next cheater, Mr. Golds, who made a much larger spectacle over his cheating ban. Mr. Golds was a- No, you get che you cheat, you get, you get caught in 4K, bro, just admit to it. Yo, I shouldn't have done it, yada, yada, yada. It's crazy. Much more significant figure in the Call of Duty community, sporting a Twitch follower count <laughs> 50k, sorry. Of over 50,000. During a live stream to an audience of approximately 1,700 people. people, Mr. Golds brought up his task manager before beginning to brag about how he was so good at Call of Duty that he didn't need to cheat. Is it the first time? You don't. <laughs> it's the same cheat the other dude had behind it. But while you're saying that, you don't see that you have another. Time you see someone good at the game. Have you ever seen anyone playing like me? It's like, like seriously. Although he didn't seem to notice that he'd also accidentally brought up his cheat menu on which he had aim at enemies turned on. Despite having 1,800 viewers at the time, almost nobody was talking in the chat or calling him out for it, showing that he was probably also viewbotting. However, while the chat remained. Yeah, you have 1,600 people, 1,800 people, people are going to be talking. I'm not saying it has to be moving super fast because I've seen, you know, some some streams. But look, I was watching Pace earlier and he has he has 500, 600 people watching him and his shit was actually moving. That's and, and these are. I don't know, like, that's crazy. So he had 50,000. He wasn't partnered. He was getting a thousand people watching him. His fucking followers probably weren't even real. Remained pretty quiet. The incident was shared to Twitter where it received over 2,000 likes and 700 retweets. After being temporarily banned from Call of Duty and Twitch, Mr. Golds would upload an apology video in which he'd state that he didn't mean to download the cheats. I truly am sorry about I didn't mean to. What does he mean, I didn't mean to? You don't download and use cheats without meaning to. I mean, come on, buddy. Before going on to try and convince his audience. Exactly what that dude said. I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to download the cheats and run them and use them and have them on my screen while I was playing. I didn't mean to do it. It was an accident. I accidentally downloaded cheats and used them and had perfect godly. Okay. That this wasn't who he was. This is not who I am. This is really not who I am. Despite having cheated for months in the lead up to his expose. These days, Mr. Gold's Twitch channel is an advertisement for big cryptocurrency giveaways from Tesla, which sounds like an even bigger scam than his wall hacks. However, a more interesting. So he's doing Tesla cryptocurrency shit now. And that's not who he is, though. Interesting question to ponder is what happens when a game developer gets caught cheating on his own game. Yo, this is what happened to Ortonil, the H1Z1 technical director, who was caught using invisibility whilst live on stream. What's happening? Why are you cheating, really, dude? You're cheating. A dev cheating. Wait, wait, you're not seeing him? You can't see me? Yes. Oh, he is. Oh, my God. Am I hidden? Oh my god. Yeah, judging from his reaction, the cheat had definitely been left on accidentally. Oh my god. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> Damn, I actually feel for the dev. You can tell he felt really bad. Poor guy, lol. However, there was absolutely- Yeah, like, I, I don't- I don't- I don't- <clears throat> Devs have dev consoles and shit, and they gotta be able to go around all over the map and do different things like that. I don't think that he was probably cheating on purpose. I think he was probably messed around with something, doing a build or doing something, checking something out in the game, and then left it on and just forgot. Like I don't, I don't, I, don't, I wouldn't crucify him for that. I, don't, I think that's a that's an easy mistake, honestly. Just my opinion. I could be wrong. Could just be, you know. But I do know, like you know, devs just like the, in old games used to have like uh, backwards ways into it like in the original final fantasy 7 there was like ways to get in secret rooms to see certain things but it's a way for devs to get around easy fucking metroid the metroid ball started as just being a way for um the devs to get around the maps easier it wasn't supposed to be a feature in the game so i mean i, I can i can see that one 
absolutely no accidents coming from FaZe Jarvis, who was given a lifetime ban on Fortnite after cheating publicly. On the 4th of November 2019, FaZe Jarvis would upload a video titled Fortnite Gave Me Aimbot, in which he'd explain that he was given hacks by an unknown person in random duos. Something crazy actually happened. I got in a random duos game and he was telling me like he can get aimbot and everything. And then he was going to test the hacks for his video. This is what happens. Look, aimbot, FOV, aimbot. I don't know what half this so I'm assuming what he's meaning, I know it was a clickbait title, Fortnite gave him aimbot. So I'm assuming what he's saying, he was in a duo, the dude's like, hey, I'll give you aimbot if you want it. And he took it. And then he got it from him. Like, not that he, like, the game gave it to him. And did he just say that he was going to use it f to do a video about it? Game. And he was telling me, like, he can get aimbot and everything. And that he was going to test the hacks for his video. So... He just said he was going to test the hacks for his video like the dude just said, then I don't, I don't know why he got banned. I mean, I do know why he got banned because he's cheating in Fortnite, maybe do it in creative mode or something. I don't know if he did it in a real game or something like that. If he did, that's stupid on his part. But I also understand if you're trying to make content and show, hey guys, there's anybody out here, this is what it looks like. I mean, if you're doing a live game, you deserve you to call it 4K, but if he was making an expose on it. Wow. This is what happens. Look, aimbot, FOV, aimbot. I don't know what half this stuff. And so I am assuming that's what he's doing, because why else would he show you everything? He Why would he tell on himself before he even plays? means but it's it's actually about to be lit we're about to pop off over the following seven minutes jarvis lit up every single person in the lobby with his insane aimbot accuracy oh my gosh man oh oh I mean, he said beforehand that he was using aimbot and was testing it out to show people what aimbot does. So, I mean, stupid move. You shouldn't have done it. And that's really shitty for him to do it. He should have done, like I said, in creative or something. But at the same time, it's not like the other ones where he's purposefully cheating. I mean, he's purposely cheating, but he's not purposely cheating. I don't know. I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, what? Whilst explaining that he was using a new account and a new computer so he wouldn't get banned. Obviously, I don't want to have aimbot on my main account. I had to go on a new PC. Like, I don't want to get my main PC banned. Jarvis finished the video by once again reiterating that you shouldn't hack and that his dummy account was most certainly going to get banned. Never use aimbot, okay? Never do it. You're going to get banned. I'm 100% going to get banned on this account. Yet he probably didn't expect that Fortnite would watch his video and ban every single one of his accounts permanently. In the See, I don't know that I would, that's a little bit too far for me. I understand banning that, that account. I understand banning that PC or whatever, but he's sitting there saying, hey, I'm doing this to show y'all what aimbot does, what aimbot looks like. He didn't do it on his main account. He wasn't trying to boost his KD. He was trying to make content for us. He was trying to make money off of it, but I mean, I think, I think that's a little overkill, honestly. I get it, but I think that's overkill. In the days that followed, Jarvis would upload a new video titled I've been banned from Fortnite, I'm sorry, in which he'd explain that he could no longer play the game. I've actually been permanently banned on Fortnite for life. Recently, I posted some videos That's of me using aimbot. It didn't even cross my mind to think that I could be banned for life on Fortnite. Before stating that he was extremely sorry for his actions. You know, it's, it's obvious that I made a massive mistake. And of course, I would never think about doing anything like this again. I know now how big of a mistake this was. and like. I, I, it's just, there's, there's nothing I can... The video accompanied a tweet by Jarvis reading, I'm going to take accountability for my actions and I understand completely why this has happened. I just wish I had known how severe the consequences were at the time and I would have never thought about doing it. I love all of you who still support me. This is oh, not was, the end. Was, uh... And while Jarvis did seem quite apologetic for his actions, Fortnite would make an example out of Jarvis by banning any new accounts that he tried to create. The <laughs> Still overkill, man. Like, if you know he's not doing it on purpose, he was doing a video. Yeah, he's stupid. Ban him for a few months. Don't let him make new accounts. I think his, he looks like a kid. He looks like 15, 16, 17. Not that it makes any difference. Like, you're out here trying to create content. You're trying to make any video, trying to whatever. And, like, that thumbnail was sensational to me. Like, Fortnite gave me aimbot. That would make me click it. So I understand what he was trying to do clickbait, trying to put something out there. But that's, uh, that's a little extreme to me, honestly.
The interesting thing is Jarvis's punishment was still less severe than super fast jellyfish who might have the craziest cheating story in this whole video. Super fast jellyfish was a this. Super Mario 64 speedrunner who wanted to join the exclusive nine person list of Super Mario players who had completed the game whilst blindfolded. In the lead up to his blindfolded attempts, super fast jellyfish had been playing Super Mario 64 for three and a half years, leading him to believe that he had enough experience to beat the game without eyesight. And apparently he was correct as he'd successfully complete the blindfolded challenge after only three tries however i remember this people started saying yo he's doing he, he's got to be able to see through i remember this like seeing this like on something maybe lsf or something because i've watched a lot of speed running and i remember the big controversy about this his ability to complete the challenge with such ease prompted a user by the name of Charlie Brown 64 to upload a video titled Obvious Cheetah Fakes Blindfolded Super Mario 64 Speedrun in which he tears super fast jellyfish's run to absolute shreds. Only a true gamer such as this man would be able to somehow sidestep this Goomba, quickly make his way up the path, and then do this long jump to the next red, all completely blindfolded and with absolutely no setup necessary. Not only does he somehow know exactly where the 1-up box is, but he also knows exactly what direction the 1-up will go and once it spawns, something completely determined by RNG. Then, after chasing it on a moving platform for a completely arbitrary amount of time, he Okay, so if that is RNG, then yeah, that's stupid. How are you chasing it, bro? He somehow knows exactly when and where to jump to the left. Watch now as he somehow knows exactly where he is on the spinning platform and knows exactly where the first pole is. Again, anyone who was actually blindfolded here would have probably just kept holding left and run off. However, this guy is able to make a completely random amount of adjustments to make it onto the pole. 19 days after Charlie Brown would upload his expose, <laughs> super fast jellyfish uploaded- Yeah, he was, he, was, he was spinning around that pole for a minute like he was a stripper, bro bizarre apology video in which you try to claim that the run had been fake deliberately that speed run was purposely fake it was purposely fake yet nobody seemed to buy any of his lies a super fast jellyfish's time purposely fake i purposely faked that because i'm per what i'm in the spotlight ended with a dislike ratio of over 95 percent from using aimbot that was a really good video um I like Sunny V2 a lot. I really, really recommend y'all go over to his YouTube and hit the subscribe button. He does all kinds of videos. There will be a link to this video in the description below. Um, yeah, give him a follow, man. Go, go show him some love. He's, he's a really awesome content creator. One of the people that I watch a lot on YouTube. Um, like I said, guys, if you like this content and you want to see more content like this from me, make sure that you hit the like and subscribe below. Leave a comment. Tell me what y'all want me to react to next or what you want to see next um or just just tell me what you think about this video in a whole uh also like i said before i stream five days a week on twitch so that will be also down here below and also in the description as well thank you so much guys i appreciate y'all being here with me and i'll catch y'all on next time your boy old man sim out peace oh he just fucking made me do a fuck Stop dancing in real life, bro. Just like that.